Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You be standing up there with an attitude. Said, I wish you'd leave me alone. But honey, something about calling on the name of Jesus. begin to move on the inside. Stand up there trying to be cute. I guess I do because they can't. But honey, when the Lord begin to touch you, that toe up face with an attitude become tears of submission. See, something about the Holy Ghost here put you under arrest. You had no plan to go to the altar. In fact, you told yourself, I ain't going to off. I'm gonna stay in the back of the church. Cause I don't want them call me out. Girl, I know what I did. But it's something about the Holy Ghost. It'll come find you where you are and drag you to Oshaba to the altar. You find yourself crying, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Anybody been on the altar crying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus? Oh, Jesus. One thing I didn't understand back then, mother. One mother be on the other side, she'll say, hold on. Somebody be on this side, say, let go. Hold on. Let go. And you still sitting up there, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hold on. Let go. When I begin to grow in the things of God, trying to understand why they would say, hold on and let go. What they was trying to say, hold on to God. Let go that sin. Hold on. Hold on to God. Let go fornication. Hold on to God. Let go adultery. Hold on to God. Let go lying. Hold on to God. Let go. They wanted you to hold on to hope. Jesus is the hope of glory. Hold on to Jesus. He'll deliver and set you free. But you gotta let go everything that's not like the Lord. You gotta let go everything that will keep you from going to the next place. Hold on, let go! Until God brings change in your life. God needs somebody that is sold out. What do you mean I told the devil many years ago? Going through things in my life, I finally made a sound decision. After being in church all of my life, I just turned 37 on last Monday. And I told God one day, God, I'm gonna just give my life completely. See, it's something about us church babies. We think we know the way, and the way we do know, huh? We act like we got the monopoly on the church. But if you're not careful, your church babies are going to go straight to hell from church. <laughs> told God, God, I can't afford to be like everybody else. See, we feel like if the crowd is going, you are okay, but the devil is alive. I'm not going to go with the crowd.
them. Too many people are attached in with the devil, but yet they're in the church. Just like we were linked in on satellites, there's a link, there's a connection that gives you access to what's going on around you. What is happening in the church? The devil has too many accesses to what God is trying to do. Some of you are linked to the wrong source. You're getting the wrong input. And because you're getting the wrong input, you're putting out the wrong output. Oh God! 
see your lifestyle and you always want to invite somebody to your church come to my church we got it going on over there come on come on they look at you on your job they look at your attitude your neighbors can't stand you and you always want to tell them come to my church the devil is a liar the reason why the name of the church is messed up because you are in the church Christian these days but those of us that are confessing that we are Christians people are looking at your example and the reason they don't want to go to church with you because you cuss as much as they cuss and they were what they say they were. They believed that if they gave their life up for their cause, they would be saved. Here it is, here it is, we church people, the saints of God, have the true and living God. Jesus is the answer and we say that he lives in us. But the world don't believe it because of where you are and what you're doing. And God says, I need to bring a change in the heart of my people. The harvest is right. The people are ready to come. The prostitute is just walking around the corner, patting back and forth, wanting to come. But where can God send them? Where you won't turn them away. The drug addict, it's time. The drug addict is ready to give up. But where can he go? Where can they come? The church has to get itself right. That's why God is going to clean the house from the cross down to the poor.
Jesus is coming, but you really can't believe that. There's no way you can really believe he's coming with the mess you're in. Can't you see the signs of the time? It's almost been a year since September 11th and people have become comfortable. of being holy that's why he's taking us back to the old landmark holiness of hell you cannot straddle today you say tomorrow I don't know today you say well tonight dear honey God knows my heart he knows the way I take the devil is a liar he know your heart he said the only the pure in heart shall see the Lord your struggles 
Through my trial, 
through my brokenness. I'm harassing toward the mark. I want to hear him say, well done. Well I gotta show you what happens. Come here, Darius. Stand right here, Pastor. This is your path to go through. My destiny is to get over to the organ. These people represent my situations. They represent my circumstances. They represent my affairs. They come in all different sizes and all different shapes. The thing about me on my way through and look at what I have to go through. It's called the process. The process, the steps taken to get to a goal. We're all in the process. The steps taken to see our Father. The steps we have to go through to get to where God is. These are our circumstances in our situations, turn and face me. I am now faced with my situations. And right where I stand, I can't even see my destiny. But I know on the inside of me, I gotta get there. destiny whether it was by dream whether it's by prophetic word most of us have already seen where God is trying to take you you've seen a little bit then he brings you back to reality said now live it See, the problem with us as a people, we're looking for a prophetic word. But after you get through shouting, speaking in tongues, and falling out over the prophetic word, you got to get up and live it. You want to rejoice, oh, I got a, oh God, I got a prophetic word. Sis, pinch yourself. Brother, pinch yourself. You got to live it to get there. These are the things through. The things I have to go through to get to destiny, my ultimate outcome. Sometimes taking the steps, I get to a thing and get blocked. I'm trying to get around it. Seem like everywhere I turn is with me. The more I pray, oh Lord, the more it's still sticking with me. Hey, God is helping you today. 
Get a double hoof shot. And you get to a place, and some of you get to the place that you just want to say, I give up. I can't take no more. Some of you right there. I cannot take anymore. But down on the inside, purpose keep bubbling. Still feel that calling pulling you. Feel, you still feel that anointing turning it over, turning in you. You muster up enough strength to get past it. The problem with church, what we got? Get the shot, and I made it, but when you turn around. We want to rest after a victory. And the devil is still trying to stop you. Here I am faced with another thing, another circumstance. Trying to get to my destiny, oh my God. is bigger than I am, stronger than I am, wider than I am. But I hear the scripture say I can do all things. Christ, which strengthens me. We want to feel like, oh, that's it. Church feel the anointing of God, speaking in tongues, shouting and rejoicing. Around the corner, another thing. If it's not one thing, if it's not two, it's ten more. This is my brother. So sometimes things seem like they overtake you. They weigh you down. Strength is about gone. Don't even feel like praying. You become weary. What do you mean by weary? To be worn out in strength. To be worn out in energy. To be worn out in freshness. To be completely exhausted. The enemy wants to wear you out. But I heard the scripture says, and be not weary. Well doing for in due season shall reap if you faint not. You can't faint. What do you mean by faint? Means to lose consciousness or awareness to what's going on around you. God said in Luke 18 and 1, men ought to always to pray and not faint. You cannot lose consciousness to the snares and the traps of the enemy. That's why you must pray or you will faint. Things. Things. Everywhere I go, things, circumstances, situations are wearing me like my clothes. This is my fine husband that wear me like my clothes. Things, thought I had gotten through this, but it looks like the same thing again. God, I can make it. Things. I got to get to my destiny. I feel like throwing in the towel. Every time I try to explain to people, they just don't understand. They just knew what I was feeling. If they just knew what I was going through. If I just could put it in words, have you felt like I just couldn't put it in words? 
So if I tell them they'll look at me crazy, they think I'm losing my mind. The problem is I hear destiny calling me. I hear destiny calling my name. And I can't allow these things to cause me to throw in the towel. But I heard the scripture say that I am more than a conqueror. I love God more than a conqueror. I've overcome some things that seem like I was able to, wasn't too much able to handle. Now I come to a thing that looks like I can handle this thing. But this thing got me that I can't move forward. See, I thought I could handle this one. It's got you wrapped up and tied up. All I'm doing is standing still now. I can't even move. Oh Lord, you're gonna have to get me out of this. How did I get in here? is the thing you gotta pray through. This thing right here is the thing you gotta be on your knees with. This thing right here is only gonna come through prayer and fasting. This thing right here is gonna take a sacrifice. This thing right here is gonna cause you to give up this whole while. This thing right here is what's gonna shift you to the next anointing. This thing right here
Shaya, Omasata, Omananamasa. In the upper levels, the spirit of the living God arrests you now. You feel like you're too far away to feel the presence of God. But I send the Holy Ghost, Amasandi, in the name of Jesus, to drop on you now. The power of God, the blood, 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 cleansing you now in the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, Sire, travail, Sire. Yes, God, 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 oh, my Satire, even the video shall come on the most shed Lazarus. Yes, 